good evening or good morning, I should say. Good morning, good and happy Saturday morning. Or whenever you're looking at this video, hell, it could be Saturday afternoon or evening. But I just want to be the first one to report on my show that Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill have set their wedding date. Okay, woohoo! For those who want them to get married, who believe in the marriage, and I know, like me, I'm finna get another bottle of wine. <laughs> get drunk on this situation because I'm just at a loss. I'm at a loss. I want Cynthia to do well. I want the best for her, but she is just not heeding the warning signs. She is not seeing the warning signs. She can't see the forest for the trees, Jesus. She just can't see it. And I am the first one who have told y'all that she was going to get married on 10 20 2020, if I'm not mistaken. Go back and look at one of my videos. I reported it to you all when I thought she was going to get married. I said it was going to be in October. I said I believe it's going to be on the 20th and it's going to be, you know, the year which was already told to us. If you don't believe me, don't take my word for it. Go look at my video. I forgot which one it is. If I can go back through my video sometime tomorrow, I might do a follow-up or a post of uh, on my community feed to show y'all that I was correctly right. Okay. I ain't going to say I prophesy. I ain't going to say I, you know, sometimes I just know stuff and maybe that is uh, a gift from the Lord or, you know, an empath type of thing. But I'm telling you, my spirit is not right. That, that guy, Mike uh, Hill, is just not right for her unless she's going into another whole avenue of dealing with the dark side. Then that might be something else. You know, I ain't got nothing to do with that, you know, because I'm still right. My mind ain't right. And it hadn't been wrapped tight since she was OK. Her and Leon both with her daughter staying with her soon to be fiance. And my thing like this, this is how I am. I'm old school and I like to get to know a person. I ain't saying you got to date them for five or six, ten years before you say, OK, I really know you because you really don't know your spouse until you're actually living with them as husband and wife. You understand what I'm saying? You can live together with a, a, a your mate or whatnot, and you still not really know them. But it just seems like once you get that document signed, some people get fear in their heart, and they sold, too, and they just run them up, okay? They start acting different. And, you know, it happened that way with my uh, ex-husband. I didn't really know him until I got married to the joke. It's like I'm looking at another whole different person. I mean, I knew his flaws. He knew mine. But it just seems like as time progressed or years progressed, I didn't know this brother. You know what I'm saying? Did not know him at all. But that's my blunder, you know? And I do believe in the uh, marriage institution and I believe in love. But I don't believe in being made a fool out of either. And that's a... Uh, what do you call it? That's a lesson that I try not to repeat. That's why it's been a while since I've even wanted to entertain a real relationship because I've had different things go on. I want to do extra school and I want to get my other uh, post-secondary education. I wanted to just, you know, take care of my mom and my aunt. So my aunt's no longer here. I lost her uh, around this time in November of last year. You know, just came out the blue. You know, I'm still trying to elevate my daughter and help her and be there for her. And I still got things to do. And, you know, the Lord just haven't blessed me again uh, because he's still working on me. You know, I, I know I'm a whole cookie to deal with here and there. And I'm going to need somebody to be very strong. But I uh, lend to the Lord's understanding to basically, you know, hook me up with who he wants me to be with. And then if it's not in this lifetime for me to get married again, I just deal with the situation because I know the Lord knows best for me. And I want to do his will, not my own. But my spirit is just not right with this uh, Mark character. Okay. I still see him as an opportunist. It's just the way he talks. And I even tried to look at him from several different angles. And I even caught him on TV One, the D.L. Hughley show. He was over there. Um, they had expressed something uh, as a titled article of Mike Hill needs to stay in his lane. And it was pretty much saying that. He knows the sports arena. He knows that whole atmosphere and environment. And he's very comfortable in it. Why are you trying to uh, free yourself and launch something else in entertainment, like being a talk show host or being um, 
the focus group of an entertainment show, a dating show. Why would you want to do that? You know. And so he was going back and forth with Dia, who to me he was kind of being a little bit rude to the host, and he was over talking uh, Dia Hughley. Then he was going, you know, back in his uh, heyday when he was in the military, and he was talking about, uh, you know, he's very disciplined. He's one of those people where you do what you're told, you don't ask questions, and that was just like a red flag. Like, let, let me let me raise my hand. I I know the I know the answer, teacher. You know, I'm one of them students like that. Really want to be known. Like, I know the answer, and I'm sitting up there waving a the red flag for Miss Cynthia. Not a white flag, but a red flag, so she can really see, you know, danger, 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 warning signs. Because my uh, my dad used to be in the uh, Air Force. He used to work on the planes, and you know, he got paid good do re, re money. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, but my daddy, he was a little player, and you know, a little cheater, and he, you know, messed up over my mom. And so, you know, my mom was a very strong black woman. She told that nigga to go to hell. She took her children, and <laughs> we've been good ever since. Okay, but anyway, I just had to throw that in now to let you know women can survive and do on their own. They don't have to be stuck with and be in a relationship that they're not breathing in. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're stuffed in the back, or they're putting putting you in the back burner and you know like they make all the decisions and they don't consult with you or anything even though they may be using your damn money you know what I'm saying but anyway it's just that my dad had that mentality that you know you do what I say do you don't do what you want to do I, I already thought for you you just got to present yourself and you play it this way I already don't wrote your script your narrative your story this is how you present it don't deflect from what I'm telling you you know, follow it, the order, okay? It's all that kind of thing. That's the kind of um, feelings and emotions I got from um, Mike Hill when he was interacting on uh, the D.L. Hughley uh, talk show. And he was just expressing his opinions and this, that, and third. And he was, you know, telling them how Cynthia will be acting, you know, in the season 12. You're going to see another side of her and all this thing. I'm like, man, have you deprogrammed her? Have you debriefed her have you shaped her into the woman you want her to be i said Cynthia, you just you girl you going down another road honey you going down a road that you know it seems like it's very demonic you know what i'm saying because peter you already had your spirit with that joker and you know he was a leech he was a playful uh crazy funny leech but i mean you don't had that before and you lost in that end do you really want to get tangled up with this man I mean, that's just my opinion, and we're going to go on into the story for the ones who root for Cynthia and her newfound love interest and her soon-to-be husband, God willing, uh, but I'm going to show her more signs before she gets to that point, and I'm glad, I'm damn so glad he put it off. She put it off way down you know, towards next year, because a lot of things could happen, a lot of things could happen. I hope it happens in her favor, because like I said, um, what's I going to call child Danielle? Um, Noel deserves more from what her mother is giving her. You know, all these bad relationships, and that's going to make it bad on Noel because she's going to look for the same type of her uh, uh, man that I don't know her mother is doing. It's like we set the tone for our children. Our children emulate us, whether they're looking at their dad or they're looking at their mom. We are their heroes in a sense, and they want to be just like us. And if we fall short, what do you think going to happen to our kids? They're going to fall short, and the parents just going to keep on, keep on, keep on in our generational line or lineage. So that was just my spiel. Um and I just wanted to toot my own horn that I had knew when she was going to get married from just the little hint she was dropping down. And it just came, okay, she's going to get married October 20th to 2020. And then we got Candy Burris to think about this. So, Candy, if her marriage don't succeed, honey, we're going to be looking at you. And then we're going to be looking at Steve Harvey because Cynthia took advantage or she he took advice from Steve Harvey and let her set her, her up with this man. And he's a three-time loser, okay? Or is that a two-time loser? I think, is Margaret his third or fourth wife? Y'all fact check, y'all tell me. 
you know, but I know he's been married two other times, seriously. And uh, I think Marjorie's the third wife, but either way, he's been divorced twice. And I'm like, you, three times you don't struck out, honey. Three times you don't struck out. Why even get to the third? Okay, why even get there, Cynthia Denise Bailey? Girl, then she's gonna talk about she's gonna hyphenate her name. I'm like, girl. <laughs> Ooh, cha cha cha. But anyway, y'all heard my spiel, my opinions. So let's get on into the article. It's written by Bravo TV. Um, the journalist or the uh, commentary person, uh, correspondent, I should say, that writ the commentary. Her name was Laura Rosenfield. Okay, she titled it Cynthia Bailey announces her official wedding date and some new hashtags, too. The Real Housewives of Atlanta model will be Mrs. Mike Hill before we know it. Ooh, child don't speak it don't speak it okay but anyway uh it says are we going to the courthouse that's a question mark kind of today trying to go to the courthouse she likes to be flair and all that and bravo ain't gonna pay for it she's gonna come out her pocket i'm like girl just go to the courthouse have a big what do you call it the do ball of a reception and then be done with it because it, it oh girl you used to be spending more money and you talking about mike talking about he going they got a wedding to plan for, and he gonna be. I like my girl, man. Oh, go take, go, go do like Kenya. Hell, go to the island and just send us pictures. But this is my point of view, okay? Let me get a hold of myself, okay? Okay, it says save the date, y'all. Cynthia Bailey just announced when she will be getting married to fiance Mike Hill. Uh, after teasing that her wedding date was locked last week. Cynthia confirmed that she and Mike will be tying the knot one year from the date of the announcement on October 10th, 2020, this time and day next year, 10, 10, 20. I would officially be Mrs. Cynthia Denise Bailey slash heel, hyphenated for most folks. The Real Housewives of Atlanta Mata gushed on a post on Instagram on Thursday, October 10th. Okay, mm -hmm. moving on. She also included several hashtags to accompany her now iconic hashtag seek heel. Um, hashtag head over heels wedding, let's chill, and hashtag chill wedding 2020. Cynthia previously hinted about her wedding date. We can see it perfectly. That led us to believe that she might be referencing 2020 vision, putting the wedding emphasis of sometime in 2020 like every time i hear 2020 i'm thinking about that that we call that commentary we used to watch on 2020 it'd be telling us news uh local news global news on um, what's happening out there girl please anyway then if you go to cynthia bailey on her instagram account you'll see her and mike you know posing in blue jeans and, and acting like they all happy go lucky okay 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 i'm still on the whole thing of why no well is staying with with him and you ain't even in la okay why she ain't staying with her dad he in la i, I need you to explain that to me cynthia okay because right now i'm gonna have another drink all right but anyway uh like i said you'll see a lot of uh, posted pictures of them I'm talking about save the date 10 10 20 okay uh she's also dropped the fun fact that she has candy birds to thank for coming up with the perfect wedding date for her and mike I'm like okay candy okay instead of you minding your own damn business and you worried about what's going on in your household you finna set your own so-called friend up to marry this leech of a man okay i don't know what's going on candy do you and i need to have a drink together and and so you could keep your um uh, what do you call it your um uh opinions to yourself when it comes to setting people up girl but then we need to get on steve Harvey because he's the one started the shit but anyway moving on moving on okay as for the rest of the details of her big day cynthia still has a lot to plan as evidenced by the book recent interview with the daily dish i want to figure out my dress i want to figure out is it going to be a destination wedding? Am I going to have it here at Lake Bailey? Are we going to go to the courthouse? I don't know what we're going to do, she said. I just know that I love Mike and I can't wait to become Mrs. Mrs. Hill. Now, my thanks to you, Cynthia, and all good graces and all heartfelt. Why the hell you got to wait to 10, 10, 20? Why don't you carry your ass on down to the courthouse? Or better yet, have a minister come to wherever you deem necessary to host the event and get married now. Why do you have to wait? You ain't having no baby, okay? 
Lord, please don't bring another child in the world. You're too old, baby. Too old. You need to be experiencing life, enjoying life, and enjoying the fruits of your labor. But it seems like holding up with this Mike Hill, he got many, many plans for you because he said it on uh, D.L. Hughley, and he did some dish on, um, I think it was Bravo BuzzFeed. He going to have you working out there, baby, like you were one of his working girls, like you, you know, a little hoe on the street, okay? He finna have you strung out. Y'all finna build an empire from what he's saying, and he ain't want no lazy woman sitting at home twiddling her thongs and eating bonbons. He wants you out there. Making loot with him, but he's gonna tell you what y'all gonna do with the loot, loot that you made plus him. But then again, knowing a man of his caliber, he gonna tell you what he doing his money. Uh uh, he gonna hide that shit, but he gonna take all your just my idea. And it's not the alcohol that I'm drinking because I'm only drinking Sigrum's Coolers. It ain't hitting me like that. I ain't up into that 20, I mean, uh, what 80 to 100 proof. No, I chill. Sigrams is my choice of drink. Margarita is the flavor. The classic lime. Okay. But anyway, moving on. It says we get to we'll get to see the moment. Cynthia says yes. When Mike pops a question in a new season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta premiering Sunday, November 3rd, check it out. And you have the, you know, the trailers and all that kind of jazz. All right. Anybody that's there for Cynthia, okay, kudos. Put your comments. In the comment box, tell me what you feel about it. Tell, tell me what you feel about what I feel about it, okay? Because I need you to be self-checked here. Am I making too much of this? Am I just getting my feelings involved? Should my feelings even be involved in the situation, okay? Because I'm trying to be biased. Well, non-biased, I should say. Okay, I'm trying to be non-biased on the situation because I want her to be happy. But all thing I can just see just headed towards her is that she's going to have another bad marriage. It's going to end badly. She's going to lose more money. And then I'm going to be like, then you're going to be a sour on love, okay? Because if it ain't love, uh, or if it is love, I should say, why y'all wait? You don't need to have no big old fancy wedding hell. We don't, I particularly don't want to see you walk down the aisle a second time, okay? Camille only been married one time. Hell, she been fighting for her marriage since she was with Peter Thomas and fought for that just to get him an allowance. You know what I'm saying? Don't let him to the real purse strings. Just get him an allowance because he's going to do what he's going to do. Just the same as Mike is going to do what he's going to do with your money, okay? But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. If you're on my team, okay, shout it out. Shout it out to the rooftops. Hell, put it in the comments. Y'all know y'all like y'all them Twitter fingers be going on, on like y'all typing on a computer. Go on, type me your comments. Or if you feel that Cynthia is making a very, very good choice, you know I'm going to have a poll on this. I had to go back and put it on my community feed because I'm feeling some kind of way, okay? But y'all put down in the comments. I'll see y'all next video and y'all be blessed, okay? Bye-bye!